I'm finally back with another um, Baby Lips Lip Gloss review, which is the first one in quite a while. This one in number 35, Life's Peach. I'll show you the label there. I am bummed out that this does not smell like nor taste like peach. They missed the boat there. Missed opportunity. Would have been a million times better if they had just done that, but oh well. So anyway, format-wise, it is a liquid gloss. Kind of looks like a concealer, but a little darker, but it is very much not a concealer. I'm just going to show you, just like all the other Baby Lips glosses, it is a goopy, globby kind of a mess in there. So anyway, but yeah, packaging-wise, whoops, it does not want to go down. Okay, so packaging-wise, it is just peach-colored in this tube, which is plastic, despite the fact that it sounds like glass. Even on there, kind of, well, no, I guess it sounds like plastic on there. But, um, yeah, it's just sort of a dark peachy color on here, which is hard to tell in this bright lighting. Uh, let me see if I move my lamp a little bit, if it changes that any. Yeah, if I hold it against this, you can see the more truer color of it right here. Okay, so anyway, um... <laughs> Yeah, it's dark out already. I, it took me forever to film today because I got all swept up in a thing about shelter animals and started crying and then I had to wait for my eyes to not be red and puffy and horrible. So, <sighs> yeah, that. So, anyway, um, anyway, so, <laughs> like I was saying, packaging-wise, it's just a dark peach color with a sort of seafoam green logo on it. It's pretty nothing special there so let's continue it's not natural or organic it is a synthetic like any other baby lips product on the planet um i don't believe it's limited edition but it is part of the set of 12 baby lips lip glosses the amount of product you get is it listed on here i don't remember it might yes 0 0.18 fluid ounces so that's how much is in it Woo. Um, which, for a lip gloss, I guess that's kind of decent, especially if you wear it every day. For me, since I don't use these that much, they'll probably last forever. But yeah, no expiration date listed anywhere on it. I think the packaging that it was in, the carded part, had something about the, like, either 24 months or 36 months after opening, but nobody listens to those, so, yeah. Um, yeah, price point there... A bit pricey for the quality of product that you get here. I think the low end of what they go for in stores starts at four and goes up to like six or so dollars. I know about half my set, I think I got for about six. This may have been one of those. Yeah. Um, sturdiness wise, they are pretty good. I would actually feel very confident sticking this in a purse because it is not glass. So you don't have to worry about it breaking or anything in your purse. It's good to go as long as it doesn't come unscrewed. So, um, I don't believe this has any SPF in it or any medication or anything. Nothing feels special about it that way. Scent-wise, it smells like the rest of the collection. Yeah, it's that same fruity pebble smell that all of the lips, uh, Baby Lips lip glosses have. So yeah, um, color-wise... Let's do a swatch first. Oh yeah, that one's got some color to it. Okay, um, I'm trying to angle this away from the light so you can actually get a fair judgment on this. I really should have done this during the day. Okay, it's on the back of my hand near my thumb. I'm trying to... I'm going to move the lamp a bit and see if that helps my situation any. Okay, with that it being as direct, there, there you go. Now you can see right there the truer pigmentation. That is the color it is. Now, on my lips, it may be another story. I actually might leave the lamp like this for a little bit. Um, let's find out. Hey, it looks like we're actually getting one with some sort of a color to it on my lips. Yay! Oh, that's way too thick. Oh, shit. What have I done? I have made a freaking mess. And this is why I'm not a makeup channel. 
Because imagine if this were actual lipstick. And you all have just discovered why I pretty much stick to clear lip balms, because I make a fucking mess otherwise. Um, but yeah, that's decent-ish. But yeah, in bright, uh, fluorescent lighting, it doesn't look like much. Over here where it's not as direct, and it's more true to life, that's actually a pretty nice color. I do like that. Which makes me happy, because I really wanted to like the one with peach in the name, even if it doesn't smell or taste like peach. Flavor-wise, um, it kind of does have a little bit of one. Nothing like peach, granted, but there is a little bit of a sweet flavor there. Consistency-wise, it is really thick. But no sticky. No sticky. I do like that. There's no stickiness whatsoever. But it's super, super, super greasy. But, I mean, it is a gloss. That comes with the territory of lip gloss. So you kind of just have to deal with that. Um, but, yeah, the thickness, I mean, it could be off-putting for some people. I don't personally mind it in this one. So, I mean, at least there's color payoff, so I feel like I actually got something out of it. Unlike some of, or most of this collection where it just seemed pointless. But, yeah, this one shows up, and I actually really like this color. So yay! I found what I like! Woohoo! Um, but yeah, moisturization-wise, I mean, these all are pretty standard across the board in terms of how well they do. So that, I mean, they do their job, but this wouldn't be my go-to first line of defense for um, needing moisturization on my lips, just saying. Shine factor, I'm pretty sure, speaks for itself. You can see it is super, super, super shiny. That is nice. I do like that. I'm impressed. <laughs> this may be one of the first ones I've been impressed with out of this collection. I am very happy with this development. Anyway, um, longevity-wise, these do not last very long. I will be frank with you. You will be reapplying these all the damn time if you're wearing them for color. As I've seen with the few that do show up, I mean, I don't think it even lasts an hour before you need to reapply it to even out the color. I mean, you'll still have some color there, but it definitely will not be to the same standard it was when you first put it on. So if you want to remain stable, you'll have to keep putting it on and putting it on and putting it on. And yeah, I'm actually gonna move the lamp back now. Woo, that is bright. Okay, anyway, um, so yeah, it doesn't last real long, unfortunately. It'd be nice if it did, but what can you do? I mean, for how expensive this stuff is, I really wish it did last longer, but... Buyer's remorse, I suppose. Uh, with the drink test, it doesn't really... 100%? Yeah, I'm testing the thing again. I guess if I had gone like this, I would have shown up okay. But anyway, um, drink test, it kind of sort of holds up, but not really well. Generally, by the end of a cup of tea, it is gone, so there's that. So my overall rating on this particular one, um, I think I would rate this one a 7 out of 10. I mean, I like the color a lot, and I like the finish. I like how it feels on my lips. I mean, it has a nice smell to it and all. But for what you're getting, I feel it is still overpriced. So, I mean... I can't really, in good conscience, give it a higher rating than that because of that. So that's why it's only getting a 7, even though I do really like this one. In terms of, like, comparing it to the rest of the collection, this may be my fa I'd have to recheck the other ones again, but this may be my favorite one so far. But I know there's at least one other one I like with the darker ones that I haven't reviewed yet, but I have tested and seen, so anyway... That's about all I have to say on this one, so until next time, uh, as usual, if you like the video, click the like button. If you're not already and you'd like to be, click subscribe. Leave comments down below. Until next time, bye!